before I start, I'd like to say that I'm very happy uh, to be here for uh, Thomas' birthday. Uh, uh, Panos used the word uh, uh, generosity for, to qualify um, to qualify uh, Thomas, and uh, that's something I also experienced many times. Uh, I remember, in particular, um, discussions in, in bed level about uh, uh, geometric uh, small cancellation when. Okay, uh, that was very inspiring, and so uh, I want to thank you, uh, Thomas, uh, very much for uh, for everything, and uh, wish you um, a very nice birthday. And so I'm going to to uh, talk about uh, measure equivalence uh, rigidity, measure equivalence rigidity for out of FN, and uh, uh, that's a joint work with uh, Camille Orbez and uh, Camille Orbe, and um, uh, a tool that we use. In the, in the proof, which is the dynamical decomposition for a, a subgroup of out of Fn, and which encodes uh, the, the various uh, free factors that are uh, invariant under this subgroup. So, um, all right. Um, so um, let's start with uh, with a uh, definition. What what is a measure equivalence? So it's a, a definition due to Gromov. And two groups, you, you take two countable groups, and you say that they are uh, measure uh, equivalent, so ME, okay. if uh, they have a, the, the, the direct product uh, acts on some uh, measure. Space, so sigma is, is, is some space with a with a measure. We, the measure is is um, usually infinite. Uh, and uh, first, you want uh, that uh, the the factors uh, act freely uh, with. Uh, with a fundamental, a fundamental domain of finite measure. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, this is called a, a, a coupling, and and and. If, if you never seen this this definition, the, the main example uh, is the following: you take you take a, a, a Lie group, okay, with uh, equipped with its uh, Haar measure, so that's your sigma, and you take two lattices, and. Okay, and the, the direct product uh, acts on the group by left and right uh, uh, multiplication, and the fact that um, the uh, the fact that uh, there are lattices tells you that the, the there are there's a, a fundamental domain of a finite measure. Unimodular Lie group. Well, if, if there's no lattice, this is still true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Well. You want it for them? No, you want uh, one, one to act on the right and the other to act on the left, so you need the measure to be. Well, if, if, it's not, if, if it's not in the middle, I think there's no. There's no, the, the lattice, it's in the lattice. <laughs> 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 okay, but you're right. I could add. You need, yeah. no, no. Just, just to be sure in the definition of the fundamental domain, you, you want to take it to be the same for gamma and gamma? No. Yes, fundamental. Yes. Okay. So maybe an S with fundamental domains. You're right. Uh, that's important. Um, so the covolume is not the same, for instance, uh, in, in particular. <laughs> um, uh, yes. And when you say freely, it's. Uh, well, it's, uh, you don't. That, 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 so and, and okay. So here, here. W w okay. Here, this is this is really um, measure theoretical. So. Uh, you, 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 you are allowed to, to get rid of measure zero sets, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, here fundamental domains means that uh, 
th this space, the whole space, is uh, isomorphic uh, to measure to, uh, uh, the to, to say to gamma times the fundamental domains, and, and uh, with this with this action. Okay, that's that's what it means. All right. Uh, another so another uh, example, which is somehow simpler and. It's it's commensurable subgroups. Okay. Uh, so two commensurable subgroups are measure equivalent. Uh, equivalent. Okay. That, that's just the example where the regroup is a discrete group. And, uh, you have you have two, two finite index subgroups. These are lattices in this context, and uh, and and so so, so measure occurrence generalize uh, um, uh, commensurability. Um, all right. Uh, and uh, in fact, th this is uh, often thought uh, of as a um, analogous to uh, to quasi isometry. Uh, and why? The, the reason is if you, if instead of working in the, in the measurable category, you work in the topological category. So here, you, if instead you assume that uh, th this is a, a topological space, locally compact, and instead of having a, a fundamental domain of finite measure, you, you, you ask co -compact for co-compact actions, then this is a, a characterization of quasi-isometry. Quasi and so uh, for this reason, this is uh, thought as, a, as an analog. Um, all right, and so the theorem we prove so is the following. So you take n at least three, and you take gamma be the countable group. Uh, measure equivalent. Then, uh, then gamma is virtually isomorphic to out of Fn. Okay. So, um, so what out of Fn? Probably everybody knows that's the group of uh, automorphisms of uh, the free group Fn modulo. Uh, inner automorphisms and virtually isomorphic. Um, it means that uh, they are uh, th that you can find a finite index subgroup here, a finite index subgroup here, and maybe uh, in this finite index subgroup you, you can you can find a finite subgroup which is normal in the in the finite index subgroups here too. And, and when you mod out by these finite subgroups, then you get isomorphic group. Okay, so it's it's uh, isomorphic up to uh, passing to subgroup of finite index and modding out by um, finite normal subgroups. All right. Um, a bit, uh, maybe some. Some history where, 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 where this oh, and, and some context. Um, so uh, ab about uh, measure equivalent. So uh, th there are many residual results about uh, flexibility, and uh, the uh, a very striking result is one by uh, Onstein and Weiss. which says that. Uh, you take any two countable amenable groups, then they are measure equivalent. So you want infinite, uh, okay, uh, countable amenable groups are measure equivalent. Okay, so uh, I mean there are. Uh, Uncountably many such groups, and uh, 
and they're all, you know, not different, uh, not uh, in, in the same uh, equivalence class. Um, another uh, result in, in this direction is, is, is by, by Gaboyo, who uh, um, who proved that many uh, that uh, many groups uh, are measure equivalent to uh, to a free group. Um, and on the, on, on the other side, there are rigidity results. Um, maybe uh, the, the, the first one is, is by Furman. I want to mention, uh, and it, it's a it's a rigidity for uh, uh, for lattices in a higher rank, simple higher rank Lie groups. So if you take um, um, uh, if you take gamma uh, 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 a lattice in a, a simple Lie group, of rank uh, at least two, uh, then uh, gamma uh, and gamma prime. If gamma prime is measure equivalent to gamma, measure equivalent to gamma, well then uh, gamma prime is virtually isomorphic. Um, uh, uh, to a lattice, to another lattice, not not to to, to gamma itself, but to, to some lattice. Uh, in G, sorry, so that's G, the the simple Lie group here. Okay, okay. okay. And, and and obviously two two groups like this are. Are measure equivalent, so it is, this characterizes the the uh, the measure the measure equivalence class. The result by Gaboyo. So also uh, uh, which says that uh, L two Betty numbers. So up to scaling are uh, invariant, and this allows to give uh, many, to distinguish many uh, examples of, um, of groups that showing that this gave examples of groups which are not uh, measure equivalents because of this. Uh, there is Mono and Shallon who prove uh, some rigidity for products. So if you have, um, uh, maybe I, I, uh, I want Products. So you, you need you need if, if you have two groups that are that are um, direct products of um, of groups that are that, that satisfy some some um, some uh, conditions. So it's the C reg condition. So maybe what something uh, sufficient is a uh, uh, is uh, a cylindrical um, hyperbolicity. If you if you have a direct product of, of such groups, you have two well two 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 direct products of such groups. Then uh, um, uh, then uh, the number of of, um, of terms in the product is the same, and uh, and they are uh, measure equivalent pairwise. I mean the the, the the result is is stronger than this, but uh, that that's uh, uh, that's uh, this kind of of result that uh, they prove, um, and uh, and a result that's. Uh, important for us because it's it's the we, we follow the really the same strategy is, is a result by Kida, which uh, proved that the mapping class group of a surface uh, so should should be sufficiently uh, uh, complicated. I don't remember which which w what's the precise uh, genus bound. Uh, maybe genus three is probably or genus two. We'll see. I'm not sure. Um, the mapping class group of a surface is uh, Me. Uh, 
uh, rigid, so uh, so it satisfies the same statement as uh, as the, the theorem, many, na namely any group that is uh, measure equ equivalent to uh, the mapping class group is uh, virtually isomorphic to uh, out of Fn. Right. Okay, so um, both. Uh, rigidity and uh, flexibility result. I should mention also that um, uh, this is not the same uh, uh, relation as quasi-asymmetric. These are really uh, different uh, equivalence relations. Um, and uh, maybe that's it. About maybe rigidities about mapping class group and of the Fn that are related to, to this. For, so uh, I can mention, so first, the fact that uh, there's no automorphism of out of Fn. So maybe I take n, n is at least 3. Uh, there's no automorphism of out of Fn that's not inner. Okay, that's due to, uh, to Kramstoff. Um, there is, well, I should write it. Okay, there is a commensurator rigidity. So, um, this is, uh, so it, it, this, this says that, uh, so for, for a mapping class group and, uh, and out of any says, so if you take uh, an isomorphism, between a uh, uh, finite index subgroup of the mapping class group, uh, it's induced by an inner automorphism uh, of the mapping class group. Uh, same for, for out of Fn, that's due to, um, to uh, Ivanov from the mapping class group and to uh, Farb handle for out of Fn and uh, with uh, an extra case by Camille and Wade, uh, and we, they prove also uh, more general results. Um, here, um, and maybe uh, about uh, quasi isometry rigidity, so for the mapping class group, this was proved by Hammerstein. And by Bernstock, uh, Minsky, Mosher, and I forgot Kleiner. Okay, uh, and this is uh, uh, open for out of Fn. What does this mean exactly? Quasi isometry rigidity is open. Is open. Uh, it means that uh, is it, is it, is it uh, true that uh, every every group quasi isometric to uh, to out of Fn is uh, virtually isometric to it? That's <laughs> That's the question. All right, so um, I want to uh, explain uh, so, some, some aspects of the proof. Um, the strategy, the overall strategy, so uh, strategy is the same as Kida's and some Fermans. And um, and so uh, uh, as for quasi isometry rigidity, uh, in, if you want to prove quasi isometry rigidity of some group, um, it's sometimes enough if you know enough about the group of self quasi isometries of, of the group. If you th then you can deduce that any group that is quasi isometric to it is in fact uh, virtually isometric. 
And um, here that there's, there's a similar uh, phenomenon. So it's it, when you you study this problem, you you, you don't need to uh, to um, to wonder about the group gamma prime. I mean, you, you just you just have to to um, to to look at out of n and two you you have you, you will have two actions out of n and you have to um, to relate them in some in, in some in some manner. I mean, uh, Okay, so that's that you have. It's only uh, sufficient. It's sufficient to study self couplings, and um, and uh, we what we'll do in is the has the following form. So um, all right. So so the, the strategy is as follows: you have um, out of f n, um, and uh, it acts uh, on some uh, x maybe mu. So uh, mu is a finite, so it's it's a uh, standard uh, measure space with a finite measure, and it preserves mu. Okay, and you have um, another action. Okay, and what you you assume. That uh, they are um, orbit equivalent, so maybe I, I I can assume they are free. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and you assume that they are or stably orbit equivalent. What this means is that okay, you have so you have you have this space x, you have this space x prime. Inside there is a subset of positive measure, and here. There is a, uh, an isomorphism, uh, so uh, mapping a mu to mu prime, and uh, the, what, what you what you ask about uh, phi is that it maps orbits to orbits. It's an orbit equivalent, so uh, phi of out of fn x so e X zero is not invariant under anything. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of when you do group theories, I mean, you, 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 you know, cut, cutting uh, by, by uh, um, this. So here you have you have a nice space with an action, and you you you, you have a kind of some some subset and just just a measurable subset, no invariance, and you you look at the restriction of uh, orbits on this subset. That's kind of violent. I mean, there's no more any ac there's no action here. Okay. Um, well, okay. So this is uh, uh, that out of f n times p of x. Okay. So you can. What this means, you can identify this subset and this subset with with a measure, so that the orbit structure is the same for so the two. Are you assets. assuming that it's uh, ergodic? Oh, it's free. It, no, you don't assume it's ergodic. Yeah, you assume it's free. You assume it's free. I mean, that's yeah. All right, and um, and what's the so so that's that's the data, and what's the goal? What the 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 the, the, the but du jeu, the, the goal of the game. I don't know. <laughs> the the goal is 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 um is um to um to, to so, so there are there are two cycles here uh, associated to that, and you want to prove that they are conjugate. So let me express this. So you have um, you, you you have so, so as I told you, there's no there's no more group actions. So, so what remains here on on X zero is, is a groupoid. So there are arrows, okay, groupoids. That's the same. Uh, this, that's the set of pairs gamma X with uh, gamma now to the fan x in x0 and such that gamma x is in x0 okay so you have this uh, yeah, the picture is here this is x inside you have cut x0 and maybe you remember there there is a row going from x to gamma x labeled by my gamma okay so Th th this set has a structure of a groupoid. A groupoid is a, 
is a set of arrows that you can compose. You know, that there is a, a composition law, and there are actually, I mean, there's a definition for that, so you, 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 you probably know that. Um, uh, it's not very important. Um, and uh, the, the point is that there are, there are two co-cycles. Co-cycle is it's like morphism, but for groupoid. So it's a, it's, it's a map from the groupoid to out of Fn. And there are two of them. The first one is, is the trivial one. I mean, you, it's just gamma. Okay, so you gamma x maps to uh, gamma. Okay, it's the element that sends you from x to gamma x. The other one is what? Well, it's just because the orbit structure is the same for the for the two actions. Well, for the other action, you, you know, if you identify this space with this one, there will be an element gamma prime here, unique because the action is free, that will send this x to this gamma prime x. So, so gamma x is uh, gamma prime x prime, but here this is dangerous. I mean, I have two actions and I need two, two notations for, uh, for the action, so I, I, maybe I don't write it. But there, there is, for the other actions, there is an element that, that does the same job. And so that's the other co-cycle. Instead of uh, associating gamma, you associate gamma prime. So that's maybe C2. G2 out of Fn. Gamma x. We associate gamma prime as, on the, uh, as, uh, as I just said. Uh, right. What should I... Okay, and so, so the goal is to prove that these two um, co-cycles, these two homomorphisms of groupoids, they are conjugate. And conjugate, or, or uh, cohomologous, but uh, it really looks like conjugation. So um, uh, let's go. Uh, uh, prove that uh, there exists a map alpha from x0 to out of fn such that, uh, well, C, uh, let's say, uh, C2 uh, for all, for each arrow, well, the second cycle is uh, the same as the first one, but conjugating using alpha. So you have to put some alpha x somewhere, maybe like this, and alpha gamma x, like this. Okay. And um, what uh, uh, Kida and Furman tell us, and if you do that, if you manage to, to do that, then you, you prove uh, uh, the measure equivalence rigidity. Okay. And so so that, that, that's our, our goal. So um, maybe something that's convenient, a bit technical, but convenient is you don't need to start with two actions of uh, out of and really. You can start with, um, I will use a finite index subgroup out zero of fn, okay. Uh, so that's, okay, that's the kernel of the map to homology mode three. And uh, th that's just convenient because it, it allows to um, many things that could be periodic uh, are automatically fixed uh, in this subgroup. For instance, this subgroup is torsion free. Okay, and there are many things uh, like this uh, hold. Like if you have a free factor that's periodic, then it's 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 fixed in in this, uh, and that's convenient. Okay, so so in in fact, it suffices to start with this action for these subgroups, and that's what I will do. And, um, and so the strategy is to use, uh, um, and that's the same as, as, as Kida, uh, use uh, a rigid graph uh, S. So what, 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 what do we, I mean by rigid graph? It's a graph uh, such that um, 
the automorphism group of this graph is naturally isomorphic out of n. Okay, so uh, we'll see which graph we, we, we're going to take. It's the graph of uh, uh, a graph of free splittings. Um, and, um, and, uh, and, and how do we, do we use it? Well, so now, now here I, I'm picturing x0. I have, you know, some arrows. Uh, and, and, and there's, a, there's a, the two, uh, the two co-cycles give, giving labels. Okay. And then you can do the product of this. Uh, with uh, the graph, this is uh, the graph. Yeah, yeah. S, S is more oval shaped, isn't it? Um, so that, that, that's the graph. You can you, you, you do this this product, and the groupoid uh, acts uh, naturally on on uh, S or uh, like this. So if you have a vertex here and you have you have two actions, okay? Uh, you, you have uh, you have a, a row here. So, so this is this is um, this is a vertex in uh, in S. So this is uh, S times x zero. So here I I, I I I see this product as a, a bundle over x zero, where the fiber is the graph S. Okay, and um, if if I have a neuro going from x say to y. Um, and uh, w and its label, its first label is gamma. Then, well, I send v to here gamma v. That's using the first cycle, and maybe using the second cycle, there it will be mapped somewhere else. Okay. So if I if I'm just using the, the first cycle, well, I will see something like that. Uh, okay. Eta gamma. Okay, that, that, that's, that, that's the action, and um, and um, to to we want to define. So the goal is to to, to find uh, this uh, this alpha. So it's a, an alpha x for every x. We we want for each we want for for, for each point x. Um, um, a map that that you know that that acts on on S, and what we we want is that if we apply this map fiber-wise, we replace the rows that that come from the first cycle by the rows uh, from the second cycle, and so that's um, uh, th th that will say that um, the two um, the two cycles are conjugate like this, and um, and the, the so the way to do that. So the, the, we proceed as follows. So you take this s and x zero over x zero, and um, you want to um, to you, well you fix a vertex v say so v in s. So you, here you have v times uh, x zero. Okay, and yet now. Um, you look at the subgroupoid, so the, th that that preserves v. Okay, so, so that's set of arrows such that using the first cycle um, you preserve v. Okay. So the arrows here, such that when you leave them, you get this. Okay, and the the so, so the the, the new goal, we'll say our new goal, is proven in the following. Um, is that a bit small? Okay. Prove that there exists. So you, you would like to, to know where to send V. Okay, so so v well you you, you it's a it's a, it's a, a new vertex v prime now it it's going to depend depend on um, on x uh, so should wish 
And, um, and because it can takes only countably many values, uh, so I want to say that for all V, there exists a countable Borel partition up to up to zero measure. So zero. Uh, and vertices. X prime uh, V prime I in S so that so if you take the groupoid and you restrict it to UI then um, this fixes V prime I uh, using the second cycle. Okay, so so let let me. You want to put a V here? It's GV. Huh? GV, yes, obviously. Thank you very much. <coughs> so um, the 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 picture here is the following: you you have x zero. You can cut it to countably many pieces. One, u one, u two, u three, and on on u one. Okay, you 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 have a, a vertex v prime one. On u two, you have a vertex v prime two, etc. And uh, and and uh, and then you will define uh, alpha x as follows. Alpha x, so alpha from x to um, to uh, out of s as follows. Well, you know you, you know that you want to send uh, v to v prime one when you're here, uh, or to v prime two while you're here, and you and and um, and, um, and uh, you put all, all these conditions together, and that defines alpha. So um, uh, so uh, here, so maybe uh, um, by so okay. Th this is um, this is a uh, uh, well, so it's x times s to s, and if you have v here. Okay, th this is a, a little bit, uh, and v and x is in u i associated to v. Well, you map it to v prime i. Okay, I mean, okay. Give so so to define a, um, a map from uh, x to uh, automorphism of uh, s, you you want. You start with a, a point in, in the base, a, a vertex, and you want to assign a new vertex. What do you do? You take, you take the vertex, you take this decomposition, and you map it there. That gives you the recipe. What's not obvious is that it gives you a, an automorphism of this, and you, you need uh, maybe uh, extra, extra work to prove that uh, uh, you, need, you need to show uh, that uh, you know, it preserves the graph structure. But I, I won't say a word about this. Okay. Uh, here it's just if you if you prove this this goal, okay, it, it will it uh, gives you um, it gives you a, a map like this uh, with uh, and um, so so it's a map from the the base space to automorphisms of the graph. And the automorphisms of the graph is here out of Fn because this is a, you know, that's how we we we, we choose this graph, and and uh, and it's uh, abstract nonsense to check that um, that uh, this map will work. I mean, uh, the, the way it's constructed, if if, if this holds, uh, then uh, the uh, the map alpha will conjugate. 
uh, the two co-cycles together, and so you will be done. Okay. All right. So up to now, uh, I didn't talk about uh, out of FN. I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's the general strategy uh, for the for the proof. And um, and now I I I can start with out of FN. Maybe if you if you are a bit lost, what uh, the 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 moral is uh, that um, you want to understand uh, uh, stabilizers of vertices of uh, of this uh, of this graph, and you want to you want uh, to to st you want to prove that um, using the other cycle, it also fixes a vertex in the graph. Okay. That essentially, that, that's the point. Um, okay. So concretely, how, 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 what, what do we do? So w w what do we take for S? S is the um, is the the set of splittings of F n of the form. It's H n extensions over uh, a subgroup, a free subgroup of rank n minus one. Okay. So th that's dual to actions on trees with uh, the quotient is a circle like this. Uh, the edge stabilizer here is trivial. And the stabilizer of the vertex is a free group of rank n minus 1. There are many of such splittings, many, many, many uh, such splittings. It's an infinite set. And, um, and, um, uh, and so we want to understand uh, the stabilizer of such a vertex. So in the groupoid or already in the, in the out of fn so what um, so a splitting is um, like this it's it's uh, an action on a tree and the uh, out of fn acts on action on trees by precomposition and um, here um, we can uh, describe the stabilizer of uh, of uh, this splitting okay so if we have like I guess a free base is like this. So in the stabilizer, uh, there are two, uh, two two kind of automorphisms that you that you can uh, produce and that preserve this um, th this splitting, which is a vertex in our set S. First is the um, is the the automorphism of the following form. You 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 take uh, any automorphism. Of the f free group uh, of rank n minus one, and uh, you map t to t. Okay, so this is a group uh, isomorphic to the group of automorphisms of of uh, uh, on n minus one uh, uh, generators, and there's another uh, uh, sort of uh, of automorphism which is will be important for us, which call which are called twist. It's, on the contrary, automorphisms that are uh, the identity on a1, a n minus 1. Okay. And so on the remaining, so, so this t here uh, is, is, a, is, is a basis element, so that, so, so that, uh, that completes the, this one. And so you send, send this basis element to a word on a1, a n minus 1, times t, times an, another word on this, on the letters n minus 1. So this is a, the, the group of all such automorphisms is, is called a group of twist, and it's, um, and it's uh, isomorphic to f n minus 1 times Fn minus one, because uh, here you have uh, well the freedom here you have is choosing an element of Fn minus one and here too, right? And um, all right, and uh, so what we want to do is um, is um, is uh, use this 
to, um, to, to, to prove the goal and, 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 and to, um, uh, to have a, a, you know, an I, I'd like to say algebraic characterization of stabilizer, but it's not really algebraic. It's algebraic and dynamical, I know. Um, it's a group of idol, uh, characterization of this stabilizer. And so, um, uh, so the so here here is uh, the condition. So um, uh, GV satisfies the following fact. Well, so it con so, so GV is this the, the stabilizer of this. So I told you it contains the group of twist. Um, so it contains a, f a, a direct product of two um, free groups. So it contains, well, two, so A and B, that's the two copies of the free group, which are um, non amenable So being amenable or non amenable makes sense for groupoids. It's where you use a stem bigger than three. That's uh, w one of the places, uh, several places, but here it's uh, indeed important. Uh, indeed. Um, and, uh, and in fact, uh, I, I maybe I, I didn't say it, but th this group is normal in here, and so uh, here there is the, the two subgroupoids here are normalized, uh, well, are normal I in GV. Okay, so this is and uh, so here we just say there are two groups that are normalized. Uh, we want to say that they 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 form a direct product. Now in, in groupoids, that's not so uh, convenient. You know, commutation is not a, a good notion in, in groupoids. And uh, so here, what, what we can say is, so if you take here two elements, say a one, a two, well. Well, th they commute with this, so the A1 is, no is uh, normal normalized here by the... So each cyclic group here is normalized by the, uh, the other factor, okay? And conversely. So th that's, th that's something you can uh, uh, state uh, here for group eight. So you have inside here, you have a group eight, say, uh, A1, A2. Uh, B1, B2. That's that coming from from the cyclic groups. Okay, they are here. They are subgroupoids of these groups, and they are uh, normalized here by by the okay. And so A i is normalized by B, and B i is normalized by A. And but the four of them here are amenable. Okay, and cyclic groups here are are amenable. And there is a, an extra, an extra condition in that, um, uh, in, in fact, well, you, you want to say that uh, a one, a two. That's a bit maybe technical. But, uh, uh, if you restrict to some uh, some uh, subset of, of positive measure, it's not amenable. Maybe you can forget about that. Okay, so that, th that's a condition. Let's call it uh, star. Okay, so if we have a group with H, uh, we can say that it satisfies this condition or not. That, uh, that's something we, that can be said without reference to any cycle, to any action, to, to all the FN. And the point is, so the, 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 the theorem is, so GV satisfies this, and the, the, the point is to prove that conversely, if you satisfy this condition, then you preserve um, a vertex with respect to, um, to the co-cycle C2. Okay, so the, the main step is if H is a subgroupoid that satisfies star, then 
then um, uh, then uh, then uh, you have the the countable partition etc um, okay that you have this uh, so then so up to countable partition uh, h preserves uh, the okay example, the prime i uh, with respect to the cycle okay so this is a th this condition star is something purely algebraic purely uh, groupoidal that somehow characterizes uh, uh, so that's wrong uh, okay th so th this is not uh, true uh, <laughs> you you need extra I mean so so this is part of the true condition uh, that, that needs to be proved and uh, wh what's really true is um, v prime i is not is, is not uh, a free splitting v prime i, v prime i is it's uh, in maybe in some larger space it um, preserves um, so uh, uh, let's say a nice some splitting okay okay so so maybe that's what I um, can talk about uh, in the remaining of the time. Okay, so if you just put this condition, you don't really readily get uh, that that uh, GV fixes a, a vertex uh, idea, uh, idea uh, some some kind of free splitting, but uh, but you 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 already get some splitting, and that's that's already a lot. Okay, and so maybe uh, in the in the remaining time, I want to to explain how uh, how you you prove this and uh, maybe uh, uh, how you um, you use this dynamical decomposition. And um, okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> so there are okay. There are th three. Three tools or three theorems. So I, I'll be cheating. Cheating, okay. Um, <laughs> um, the first one is uh, say if uh, okay if A is amenable uh, and preserves no. Free splitting, then uh, any any uh, subgroupoid N normalizing A is amenable. So this is a um, this is um, an important uh, step. And it uh, so it, it, this is really the one where, where there is um, th there is a groupoid theory. I mean, where amenability and is used and everything. Uh, so this is this uses, um, for instance, the the fact that um, we prove with with Mladen and Mesvina that uh, the action of out of Fn on a set of uh, irrational trees in the boundary of outer space is amenable. And that's uh, that's. Uh, really used uh, here it's also used uh, um, the construction of a barrier setter map we, we did with uh, uh, with Jean Lecureux uh, it uses also uh, maybe not a version of this uh, some some work we did with uh, Gilbert Levitt about uh, stabilizers of of, of uh, our trees maybe not in precisely in this statement but how do, do you use such a thing well here you have th this guy is amenable so if, if it also if it preserves no free splitting, then this guy is amenable, and that's a contradiction. Okay. All right. The second tool is um, if A preserves a nice splitting, 
and n normalize a it doesn't have to to contain it but then so does n so preserving a, 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 a nice splitting so i didn't say what's nice splitting but it's stable under uh, under a normalizer so if you for some reason you know that uh, this guy preserves, or, or so, any, any, any guy here preserves some splitting, then since it goes to the normalizer, then uh, it goes from here to here to here, and so the H preserves the splitting, that's what you wanted to prove. Okay. And nice splitting is uh, about, uh, it's cyclic splitting, uh, cyclic splitting, and some other kind of splitting. And the last tool is uh, dynamic decomposition. <laughs> 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 <It's fine. laughs> I, I I'll draw draw a picture if I if I'm allowed. Just thirty second picture. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So dynamic comp decomposition. It, it's something that it's it's a canonical splitting. That encodes. Uh, um, the interaction between uh, maximal invariant invariant free factor systems and so uh, somehow if you have if if somewhere some of these guys uh, has several maximal invariant free factor systems and you get a free uh, 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 you you get a canonical splitting which is nice splitting it has to be nice, and uh, and it goes up to to h, and so maybe um, maybe a picture. Okay, uh, just a picture of the dynamic decomposition. Is that is that okay? Uh, very quick picture. So you have, um, I, I'm going to, to, to draw a, a, a free group and uh, it will be uh, pictured as a graph, so maybe like this. this. These are small pieces. Okay. Uh, then I need, I'll, yes, I, do, I will do uh, this. Okay, then I'll do uh, some other thing like this, and here too. Okay, and then I maybe some stuff here, and some stuff here, and then you glue this stuff here. You glue stuff here. You glue stuff here. You glue stuff. Here. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's the yes, yes. So <laughs> that's the that's here. You have I, I'm concluding. So here you have a decomposition of the free group into like three parts, where there are um, here you have uh, uh, free factor systems that are invariant, and there's no um, well all, all free factors that are invariant are in the red part. And that's true in all of them. And there is a, a unique uh, or canonical decomposition that encodes this, and that's the dynamical decomposition. So, okay, maybe I, I have to stop here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so, is that questions? Can you say again what the canonical splitting <laughs> is? <laughs> canonical splitting, um, uh, here, uh, what, what it really means, it's, uh, so you, you have some, 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 some data, so maybe a, a, um, maybe a, a subgroup of alpha fn. Okay, and you want to, 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 to associate to it a canonical splitting. And a canonical splitting, it, it's, it's a splitting that's invariant under the norm normalizer. That, that's a, a good definition of canonical. And yeah. okay. 
other questions? Can you say um, why S is a graph? Why S is a graph? Yes, I didn't uh, say. So it, it's uh, I d so I, I defined the vertices, but I didn't uh, define the edges. So you put an edge between two such uh, splitting if they are um, compatible in the sense that you you can uh, construct a free splitting that collapses to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to the one you like this. So if, if, you, if, if there exists such a splitting and you collapse one of these edge, and when you, you, you get a splitting of this form, and if you col collapse the other edge, you arrive to another splitting of this form, and, and then you put an edge between those two. Does it make sense? Yes. And it's, uh, it's uh, resolved by uh, Pandit following uh, uh, Aramayana and Suto that the, th this graph is, is rigid. I didn't mention it. Thank you. Are there questions on online? I'm not seeing any hand raised. Okay, so thanks again. Thanks again.